Good morning. The project we are presenting here is Baby Bazaar. The detector is used when mother is not near with the baby. If the baby cries or it urinates, the cradle will rock automatically. This detector is very much useful for modern mothers. Uh, new moms are very useful because of the invention of the baby buzzer. Thank you. Good morning. This is our radar project and we are going to show how it works. First, we are connecting the audio node to the laptop which gives the power supply. As, to, as soon as the power supply is given, the servo motor gets on and starts to move 180 degree back and forth. The ultrasonic sensor is connected on which it sta starts to turn 180 degree as the motor moves. When the object is detected on the ultrasonic, ultrasonic sensor, it is shown on the laptop screen. The red color which is shown is the object detected. And the object when it comes within 20 centimeter radius, the buzzer sound comes. As I showed. Good morning. Good morning. This is our project, Automatic Water Dispenser. Water is insufficient nowadays. We are wasting lot of water in our daily use. Sometimes we will open the tap and we will not close the tap properly. It leads to water leakage. By our project, we can save water. When we keep the glass, the ultrasonic sensor senses the glass and the water will flow. When we take the glass out for drinking, it will, not, it will stop the water flow. We want to implement our project in many places like library, parks. This, uh, this will be useful for future generation. Thank you. Good morning. This is our project, Miss Alexa. Miss Alexa, through voice recognition technology, integrates Arduino and Bluetooth. When a specific voice command is given, such as turn on light one, the Arduino interprets the command through the microphone. Then the Bluetooth module communicates wirelessly with the relay, activating it to switch on the lights. Let's see how this works. Turn on light 1. Now light 1 is switched on. Turn on light 2. Turn off light 1. Turn off light 2. This is very helpful to the user, making home automation more accessible. With this project, future smart living is not just a concept, but a tangible reality. Thank you. Good evening everyone. This is our project. Its name is Zenit Shield. It's a home safety system. It works with the help of Telegram. The components used in this project are Arduino Uno and uh, Node MCU, uh, IR sensor and a uh, 4 into 4 keypad. The IR sensor is placed at the entrance of the door. When the IR sensor is sensed, it will send messages motion detected to the mobile. When the IR sensor is sensed, it will send messages motion detected. Suppose if the uh, member is a family member and they want to let us know, they can enter the password. If the right password is entered, it will send messages, no worries, it's a family members. If wrong, wrong password is entered, it will send messages, it's a intruder. When we enter the correct password, it will send messages, no worries, it's a family member. Now I'm going to enter the correct password. The message will be sent us, no worries, it's a family member. Now I'm going to enter the wrong password. Now the message will be sent us, somebody trying to unlock. And when the motion is sensed, hmm, the message will be sent as motion detected. I hope you like this project. Thank you. This is a very simple project which, which makes our home safer when we are away from our home. Good morning. This is our project Aqua Detector. When the raindrop falls on the blade, the buzzer will give us beep sound. The process behind this project is when a raindrop occurs in the uh, metal, the current passes through the wire and the buzzer. Now the buzzer will give us beep sound so that we can understand it is going to rain. Yes, and we have made this project for the old age and blind people and for the usually, uh, usually difficulty people. Uh, when they are inside their home, they, they, they don't know whether weather outside. So this project may help them to know about the weather outside and whether it is going to rain or not. Thank you.
Good morning. My name is Suresh Valari. I am from 60A. The old people and some of the elders have difficulty to mop the floor. But this floor cleaner machine will clean the floor in every corners and we can easily clean under the sofa and tables. We keep the container on top. We add water and some drops of soap while our floor cleaner. Thank you. Good morning. Here we have our project, the automatic streetlight. The automatic streetlight design is, is, is made to automatically switch us on the light whenever the weather is dark and sun sets. It automatically switches off the light whenever the sun rises and during the light hours. Now Tanish will explain about the working principle of this model. The working principle of automatic streetlight is, automatic streetlight is automatically switches on the light whenever the sunlight goes below the visible region of rise. This is done by a sensor called light dependent resistor and that is NDR, which senses the light actually like our eyes. It automatically switches off the light whenever the sunlight comes visible to our eyes. Now we are going to demonstrate our project. The LDR sensor is detecting the sunlight and it's not resisting the current flow through the LEDs. Now we are cutting the light through the LDR. Now the LDR is around the LDR, there is no sunlight. So it is allowing the current flow through the LEDs. Thank, Thank you. you. Good morning. We are representing the project about the smart suit. Our brand name, uh, our brand name is Inomek. Uh, the idea of the Inomek was to make the daily life of visually challenged people safer by the intelligent obstacle detector. The main focus of this project is to implement various technology on the smart shoe for brain people. Now Hariharan will explain the construction and working of the smart shoe. We have used the ultrasonic sensor and the Arduino Uno and a buzzer. The ultrasonic sensor detects the object and uh, transmits the signal to the Arduino Uno. The Arduino Uno transmits the signal to the buzzer and the buzzer will ring. Now the ultrasonic sensor detects the signal and transmits the signal to the Arduino Uno and the Arduino Uno transmits the signal to the buzzer and the buzzer will ring. Good morning, we are from grade 9. This waste segregator segregates waste effortlessly and hence the biodegradable waste can be converted into manure and the non-biodegradable waste can be recycled. We thought that this project would be a small step for a greener environment and we can make a better environment for a future generation. We have fixed uh, the rain drop sensor and ultrasonic sensor. They detect the moisture content in uh, the waste and the servo motor rotates accordingly. Good morning, I am Mitra from Great Sixer. This is Greco Energy. This is a Greco Energy house. This is a solar off-grid system for home. Solar panel is kept on the uh, top of the house. Solar panel converts sunlight into electricity. It is made up of number of solar cells. So a lot of solar cells spread over a large area to, to pro provide enough energy. The, the electric power will store in the ba battery bank and, and use whenever we need. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. I am Sattvika. These are my friends. We are from 7th Standard. The used components are motor, wheel, 5 volt relay, Arduino UNO, bus, HW battery, transparent glass and eye blink sensor. This is Awaker. It is an anti-sleep system used in uh, anti-sleep system. We used uh, we use eye blink sensor. It detects the eyes uh, closing of eyes. When the eye is closed, when the eye is closed, it stops the motor and the buzzer beeps 
uh, the buzzer beeps to alert the driver. Hello. Hello. This is a product handy. This is an automatic sanitizer dispenser. Here is an IOS sensor. If we put our hand here, it will sense the, our hand and sense an input to the Arduino board. Then the Arduino board sends an output to the motor, it spins and the sanitizer gets dispensed. This is a simple working. We can use this in temple, uh, in schools, in office, in anywhere you want. So stay sanitized, stay safe. Uh, this is our product handy. Use handy, be germ free. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. This is our project Smart Bridge. The working principle is when the water level is rise till 50%, the LED lights will instruct us. When the water level is rise to 90%, the buzzer will alert us. Let's see the result. We are pouring water. LED lights are alerting us. When the water is coming to 80% or 90%, the buzzer will instruct us. Thank you. Good morning. Welcome to our exhibit. Our project features an Arduino connected to the DHT sensor, allowing us to make Allowing us to measure temperature and humidity. The DHT 11 sensor, sensor act like a tiny weather station, detecting the surrounding surrounding condition. Condition. The Arduino reads the value and displays them. Displays them, showing how technology technology help us to. Help us to understand our environment, uh, nature. See how we explore and visualize the temperature and humidity features. Thank you. Good morning, Good morning everyone. This is our project river cleaner. This will collect the garbages from the water bodies. It is easy to carry. It runs both in land and water like amphibian. Arduino you know is the basic important controller in this project. All codings are updated in the Arduino you know for controlling this project. Carry the object garbages from the water bodies with the help of his conveyor belt, help of Bluetooth module. And this is our project. Thank you. Good morning. My, my project is about solar panels. Solar panel Solar panel converts solar energy into electrical energy and store it in the batteries. If we want to, if we want electric, electric we can use from the battery. Uses, we can use solar energy for more, solar energy for more than, for fan light for more process. The main benefits is pollution free. It is renewable energy. Solar energy is green and clean energy. It is safer than other energy. Thank, Thank you. you. Good morning. Good morning. Our project is ultrasonic sensor car. This is our first audio based sensor car. Now I, now I explain how it works. If I show my hand in front of this ultrasonic sensor, it will automatically sense and it will work. It, it can be fitted to the future generation cars. It acts as the keyless car. Now I tell the components. The components are 3.7 volt battery, Arduino UNO board, switch, jumper wire, ultrasonic sensor, servo motor, robot, 
robot wheel and uh, foam board. Thank you. Good morning. We have done automatic braking system. The components we have used are IR sensor, 5V channel relay, 6 volt battery, 4.5 ampere, 2 bow motors, 2 bow wheel, few wires and a switch. This is used, especially this is used in night time. IR LED transmit IR a continuous to sense obstacles. Potential meter help us to uh, adjusting the distance between the car and the obstacles. Uh, if the IR receiver receives the uh, signals from the between the car and obstacles, uh, if once the IR receiver receives the signals, uh, it reaches the uh, receive the signals uh, of the uh, which uh, distance from the distance from distance between the signals to uh, manner. Distance between the IR signal and the motor car. If the pre distance is reached, it activates the relay coil to stop the car. When the relay coil gets emergized, the open switch gets closed and LED gets on to avoid crashing of the backside of the car. The automatic brake system works like this. We are going to do the demo of that. Thank, Thank you. you. When the obstacle or pedestrian come in front of the car, it automatically stops and indicate at the back side of the car to avoid rashing back side. Good morning. This is our project. It is water level detector. It is used to control the wastage of water. Now let's check the result. Now the water level is 25 percent. So one LED is indicating us. Now the water level is 50 percent, so two LEDs are indicating us. Now the water level is 90 percent, so the buzzer is alerting us. Thank you.